Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would go through five takeaway or fake away ideas if you are on the Wellness That Works Weight Watchers plan. I feel like now autumn is here, it's the time to get cozy, it's the time when a lot of us don't necessarily want to go out too often in the evenings because it gets dark, it's quite chilly, and most of us um, at home bodies at heart, especially like me, would rather make a nice dinner, hang out with friends and entertain at home. And I feel like, again, autumn winter is the perfect and ideal time to do that. And it really coincides well with comfort food as well. Again, we're reaching for those really hearty dishes like casseroles, curries, burgers, pizza, lovely comfort food. And sometimes it can be quite tricky, especially when you're dining out. You might not necessarily know what you want to order because of the point value, not every single restaurant is listed on the Weight Watchers app. And other times when you're ordering in, you have that same issue. So I thought I would share with you five of my favorite dishes when it comes to entertaining friends and family and having that amazing takeaway hit but it's a fake way, so I thought I would share it with you. As always, I'm gonna put the recipes for each of the dishes that I'm mentioning today in the description box down below, along with the point value and the serving. So I'm gonna start off with the obvious, and my most go-to item when it comes to a fake way, the thing I opt for and I absolutely adore, and that is pizza. Now pizza comes with a high point value price tag, especially when you don't make it for yourself. So it's lovely to know that you can make alternatives from scratch at home that are gonna be more Weight Watchers friendly, and I can vouch for the fact that they are more delicious than any takeaway pizza you will try. I'm not gonna bang on about pizza too much because I actually have done a dedicated video where you guys can cook along with me and make a homemade pizza from scratch in my new Cook with Sasha Summer series. I'll link that above in case you haven't managed to check it out yet. But that literally walks you through the process of making a homemade pizza from start to finish and it's such a great crowd pleaser. It's one of those where it's just as easy to cook for one people as it is to do a massive one and cook for 10 people. Um, super easy, super fun, a great one for the family, a great one to get the kids involved and it's perfect for people that like my Andrew are lactose intolerant, you can use cheeses that you know are lactose free which you can't necessarily get at a takeaway and you can make sure that everyone's involved and that's in terms of toppings as well. You can choose ones that you like, you can choose ones that are Weight Watchers friendly, for example marinated chicken breast all that kind of thing and I just think it's a fantastic idea so definitely pizza for the win I absolutely love it I'm running in that same vein we have homemade burgers so I love a good burger I feel like on the menu if I'm gonna go for anything nine times out of ten if there is a gourmet burger on there I will go for it I love myself a burger for sure and I don't buy spending points on them either, but I do find that when you make them from scratch, not only is it really super fun, it's quite a sensory activity, getting your hands in the meat and making the patties, but also again, you know exactly what's going into it, you know exactly what the meat is like, you know exactly what you are eating, which is really super important because a lot of times burgers have a lot of fat in them, they're not the best cuts of meat all of the time, so if you can make it from scratch, you know exactly what goes in there and they are much more flavorful. Um, I have done burgers before in what I eat in a day, I think I've done them twice now and you guys seem to love them and again it's something that you can tailor make to your liking super easy you could add a bit of chili in there to make them spicy you could do like a black mayo with them like I did that time and they are delicious so I would definitely say if you have a burger crowd then burgers with caramelized onion mayo and cheese are the way forward and again if you do them from scratch yourself you know exactly the point value there's no guesstimating and they're super easy so I would definitely suggest homemade burger night and again it's one that you can get the family and friends involved in on get everyone together get them making their own burgers it's such a fun activity especially if you have the time but another great thing about homemade burgers is you can make them in advance so you can make the patties up so all you have to do is stick them on the grill when you're ready to cook them and assemble and it's super easy the next one I'm going to talk about is marinated chicken I have a few options for you here and um, marinated chicken no matter what it is um, it's very easy in regards to preparation because you can do a lot of it way in advance like the, even the night before You can have it all marinating all absorbing all those flavors And all you have to do when your guest arrives is stick it in the oven and have whatever accompaniments you want with it Whether it's salad flatbread chips a jacket potato whatever the few options I have are Korean chicken. Korean chicken is my numero uno. I adore it. Again, it is something that I've done a cook along with. So if you want to check that out, check out the video um, above. It's honestly, guys, I have had so many of you reach out to me on Instagram and on 
YouTube, saying that you've tried that recipe and even the fussiest of eaters love it and I'm so happy to hear that. Um, another one that I do is my tandoori chicken which is one of my own recipes which again you guys have been loving and you can just do simple ones like honey and lemon chicken, peanut butter chicken, just any kind of marinated chicken that you can eat with flatbread, salad, hummus and get the hands in and it's just super easy and again it's one of those where it's just as easy to cook for two people as it is to cook for 10 to 15 and again a lot of the prep can be done in advance and it's such a nice takeaway here. Everyone can just dip into the bowl and get whatever they want, make flatbreads up, make pitters up, you can have a side of chips if you would like so you can really have a lot of fun with that one. The next one I'm going to talk about is curry. Who doesn't love on a cold night? to draw the curtains and order in a curry. I feel like it's a rite of passage. Everybody loves to do that and I love a good curry. But what I have found is a lot of takeaway curries contain a lot of oil. Sometimes you can even like tip the tray and the first layer is just olive oil or some kind of oil which obviously isn't great. They don't use the best quality cuts of meat sometimes as well. You get quite gristly pieces, quite fatty pieces. So I like to cook a lot of my curries from scratch. In fact, all of my curries from scratch. I very rarely, unless I go to dine out, will order a curry just because I like my own and I think they're more flavorful, I know exactly what's gone into them and they're better for me. It's so easy, it's so flavorful, again it's something that you can do in advance, you could even do it the night before and heat it up, like it's honestly such an easy dish, you can serve it with rice, with chips, with flatbreads, whatever you would like and it's so lovely with a sprinkling of coriander on the top, wedge of lemon or lime, with a bit of tzatziki, um, yogurt and cucumber made. It's just delicious, so I would definitely recommend whipping up a curry for fake away night. And my final choice would be some kind of kebab. Now of course you could just marinate some tandoori chicken, like we've discussed, and put it in a naan or a flatbread. You could do some Middle Eastern chicken, which is a fantastic recipe that I've cooked before. But one thing I like to do is kobide kebab, or mincemeat kebabs, or kofta kebabs. And they are basically a mincemeat mixed with onions and other herbs and spices, and you kind of mould them up into these little kebab shapes, pop them in a flatbread or a naan bread, or a pita bread with some yogurt, with some salad, with some chilli sauce, roll it all up and honestly it makes the most delicious kebab and um, very street food inspired, um, really easy one to do again, you can do the mixture in advance or if you have children there get them hands in, get them in the bowl, get them playing along and it's just a fantastic one and it's such a crowd pleaser, they look so so impressive, I'll put the video where I included these up here so you guys can go and check it out but I love them they're great for a midweek supper as well but they're even more impressive as a fake away night and they're definitely a crowd pleaser and they're particularly great for children as well because you can make them as mild or as spicy as you would like and they're very easy to eat and consume so I think that they'll be a great one as an all-rounder. So guys, that's my five ideas when it comes to entertaining and takeaways and fakeaways and all of that jazz. I hope you decide to try them. If you do, don't forget to take a picture and use the hashtag cookwithnatashasummer so I can see it on Instagram. I would love that. And also pop any suggestions that you guys have in regards to fakeaways in the comments box down below because I would love to hear your guys' recommendations, what you like to order, what you like to make from scratch. It would be super interesting to know. And... Yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you're new. I do have a lot of these videos coming. I have some ideal Weight Watchers breakfasts coming, some lunch ideas, family dinners, and everything in between. So I hope you're all going to stay tuned for that to see more from me. And I will see you in my next video. Oh, I will link everything that I'm wearing on my face and clothing-wise in the description as well, in case you're interested. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go now. I keep saying bye and not going. So yeah, bye.